Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today, we have traveled to the Fort Wayne Super Speedway for the Fort Wayne 100. This is going to be race number 18 in the More Freedom Series Season 4. And with this being the last race at before halfway, let's go through your current top 10 in points. Your points leader is the 20 of Adam B5000. Second will be the 49 of Jetman. Third will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Fourth will be the double zero of Mudbone. Fifth will be the 799 of Mike Check. Sixth will be the 72 of Duchess. Seventh will be the 88 of NM. Eighth will be the uh, 203 of Signs. Ninth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 95 of Zed Brenna. Let's check in on your team and chassis standings. MBR still leads away narrow margin over Douche Motorsports. Third is Aces to Zed Motorsports. Fourth is Amish Buggy Racing. And rounding out the top five will be the Drop Bear Racing Team. Chassis standings are Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all your points here as we go into the Fort Wayne 100, the last race before halfway. And these cars are getting fired up. These drivers are dialing them in. People are already packing into these stands, so I think it's about time. So let's go racing. Let's go through your starting top 10 today for this Fort Wayne 100. Starting on the pole will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. And on his outside, the 49 of Jetman. Starting third will be the 96 of Nico. And on his outside, the 25 of JTM. Starting fifth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. And on his outside, the 329 of Heck of Vaduber. Starting seventh will be the 95 of Zed Brunna, and on his outside, the 20 of Adam B5000. Starting ninth will be the 203 of Signs, and on his outside, starting tenth will be the 300 of Resemble. Let's look at your starting top 10 today for this Fort Wayne 100. Hopefully, 29 laps of green flag action here today. Frederick. Grabs the pole here at Fort Wayne for RP Racing, uh, which will help him. And he's hoping, you know, grab the pole, lead the first lap. That's 10 bonus points. That, you know, he's about 90-ish points behind the 49 of Jetman right now and uh, just over 100 points behind the 20 of Adam B5000 for the lead in the series. He's also looking for win number three this season, which would be crazy for... The 544, uh, Frederick Winklevom as second year on the tour for him. And uh, almost, if, I mean, if he can pull out three wins in one season, that's pretty darn impressive here in the More Freedom Series. The 96 of Nico, who's right behind him, and the three of Geek Girl Games, I think both had four wins in one season, which, again, impressive here in the More Freedom Series. And Frederick's already half of that with half of the season to go. He's going to be leading us down to take the green flag off at of turn five here at Fort Wayne as we have five turns on this track. Pace car is in, green flag is out, and we are underway. Already two, three wide up here at the front as the 25 at JTM. Trying to make it three wide with his teammate and the 544 as he's going to duck in behind the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. We saw the 96 of Nico get on the binders right there into turn, th into turn two as they run through two and three right now as the 49 of Jetman is high. The old men of the series right there, the 49 and the 71, maybe hooking up here on the back stretch. Not quite as the 25 at JTM trying to work down to the inside of the 544. Here comes the 71 of Kung Fu Beer and the points leader, the 20 of Adam B5000 as they race down the backstretch here. Three wide down the backstretch. As the 71 of Kung Fu Beer powers that Lima Rita Ford out to the front of the race right now for Kager Racing. His teammate, the 40 of Veteran Chaos, lying in wait back there as they head towards the front stretch. KFB leading lap number one here in the More Freedom Series at Fort Wayne. So KFB starts in the fifth position, lap one, works himself up to 
the first position right there in front of the points leader, the 20 of Adam B5000. Adam right to his back bumper looking for win number three this season in the More Freedom Series. Uh, Elliott Motorsports currently running sixth in team points. Single car team is Elliott Motorsports. So that's pretty good odds when you think about MBR has six drivers and runs is only 240 points ahead of the single car team of Adam B5000 and Elliott Motorsports as KFB works to the high side right here as we see the 544 Frederick Winkelbaum trying to work down to his inside. He is going to make that pass on the 20 of Adam B5000. He's going to set his sights on the leader, the 71 of Kung Fu Beer, as they work off of turn five down the front stretch. Again, shorter front stretch as they head into the right hand turn one here at Fort Wayne, which gives way to the giant turns two and three, which could almost be two, three, and four, <laughs> to be real honest. We call it three and four, or two and three as four and five are on the back, but a giant turns two and three here at Fort Wayne as the 71 of Kung Fu Beer leads us down the back stretch right there in front of the 544 Frederick Winklebaum. I haven't even brought up your timing and scoring yet, so let's do that. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top as Kager Racing currently bookends the top 10, first and 10th, as we watch the 544 Frederick Winklebaum Great run into th into four and five as he ducks down to the inside of the 71 to Kung Fu Beer. So Frederick trying to get to the front of this field and I think he might be able to lead a lap as we're gonna see what the 20 of Adam B5000 goes with. So Frederick gonna lead a lap here at Fort Wayne as we watch the 20 of Adam B5000 work to the outside on the 544 Frederick Winklebaum. Yes, the 25 of JTM has to get on the binders right there as the 544 slows down. So JTM had to get on the brakes to avoid the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. Winkle slides way high into the turn. JTM's going to lose two or three spots to the 300 of Resemble. And the 49 of Jetman as KFB still leads away right now, right there in front of the 20 of Adam B5000. We've got a battle on the track for whichever position they're in right now. 3-4 wide right behind that 25 at JTM as they head into turn four. So JTM leads a pack of four, four wide drivers through turn four, headed towards the front stretch. They kind of calm down, settle down as the 13 of King of the Aces trying to work around the 34 of Super Snake. Sign slides high in, a, in the Colt Chevy right there in front of the Magnum Research Dodge. So Signs has now put himself up to the sixth position. Started ninth. You know, you're gonna you're gonna move around a lot here in this race as this again super speedway as Signs is. The current fastest lap at 189.979 miles per hour. Very long laps here to do today as well. They're over a minute long. So the fastest lap is a minute six right now. So 66 seconds as the 71 of Kung Fu Beer still leads the way. To watch the 25 of JTM followed very close by that 203 of Signs as the 34 of Super Snake working to his back bumper. Signs dropping low. Through turn five, we're gonna see who gets a good run off of turn five down the front stretch. JTM slides high. He is working to catch up to the back bumper of the 20 of Adam B5000 who has a good run on the high side right here on the outside of the 49 of Jetman. Jetman down to the inside of the 71, or at least trying to work down to the inside of the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Looks like uh, Signs may have hit the brakes there for a second. Must have got a little bit loose going into turn uh, number two. As they even out up at the front, the 71 of Kung Fu Beer has led almost every lap as the 544 of Frederick Winklevom has fallen back to the 16th position. We see him way back there in the back. Yeah. 
So KFB has got his car hooked up here today at Fort Wayne as we got a three-wide battle for the second position between two MBR cars. And the 20 of Adam B5000, the 49 of Jetman, thinks a little bit better of what the situation was right there. Let's off the gas coming off of turn five. He's going to give up that position to the 13 of King of the Aces and possibly the 300 of Resemble as the 34 of Super Snake works down to his inside. Super Snake does not get that full run through turn two as the 49 of Jetman slides high in front of the 203 of Signs. He's going to get a little bit of a draft help. Kind of cut down on that 203 right there as we watch the battle up here at the front between the 20 of Adam B5000 and the 25 of JTM. King of the Aces now firmly throwing his hat into the ring, I think. He's way down there at the bottom of the track. Not way, I mean, this track here at Fort Wayne is just absolutely massive. Hey, we could you could fit probably about 10 or 15 cars wide on this track. So there's a lot of room for them to race as I think we're gonna see pit stops here today. So pit stops happening right now in the More Freedom Series. As we watch the 329 of Heck of a Duber is gonna take over the lead from the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Looks like the 49 of Jetman who is outside right now. So Jetman desperately trying to lead a lap here today in the More Freedom Series, get those five very, very important five bonus points as Adam B5000 is only 24 points ahead of him in the series and five bonus points. I mean, it, it makes a difference as running out here in the back or not stopping on that lap. We're gonna see what that does for the pit situation for the 49 and the 329 as we're going to see if those pits are congested again very very long pit row or very very long laps here today at fort wayne so the chances of them getting into the pits and their people being there could be zero but we're going to see that as a 49 does let off the gas he is pulling down and he is coming into the pits as well as the 329 of heck of a duber We'll see what Jetman does here with the M&M's Dodge for MBR as we see his teammate, the 51 of AJM right there. So Jetman officially leads a lap here today in the More Freedom Series. And we're going to see what kind of tire situation they go with as it's, it, I mean, it's a very long pit road, you know what I mean? As we do see, the 71 of Kung Fu Beer was still on pit road there, so I'm not sure... If KFB was having issues or what, as we still saw him in the pits. So right side tires going on to the 49 of Jetman. Very concerning for the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Right side tires and fuel only for the 49. He is down and away. So maybe KFB went four tires and fuel here today. And then everybody else was two tires and fuel. So we're going to see what everything looks like here as Jetman's working through turn two. He's officially still your leader right there in front of the 329 of Heck of a Duber. So as we about 20 laps from halfway, so we're looking at about lap 18 for our next stop here and... We do see that 20 of Adam B5000 inching close to the back of the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Duber is going to try to get down to the inside for the 49 of Jetman here. So battle for first position between the 329 and the 49. Duber out to the lead here at Fort Wayne in the More Freedom Series for Douche Motorsports. It has been a hot minute since we seen since we have seen Duber up here at the front of the field. He is going to lead a lap, and I mean, it's been a little bit since we've seen since we've seen Duber in, in Winner's Circle, and uh, I know he is absolutely wanting to get into 
get back into the win column. Um, he has had just a rough year this year, running 23rd in points after an amazing season last season, finishing second to G3. As I'm not sure what's up with the 49 of Jetman, and maybe, you know, only two tire again, only two tires for that 49. So maybe uh, not quite the setup that they wanted. But let's go through your current top 10 as your leader is the 329 of Heck of the Duper. Second place is going to be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 49 of Jetman. Fourth will be the 33 of Harvey Jones. Fifth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Sixth will be the 211 of Hogs. And seventh will be the 25 of JTM. Eighth will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Ninth will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. And rounding out your top 10 and will be the 799 of Mike Check. So Mike Check, having started way back in 32nd position, has now put his car up to the 10th position behind the 29 and the 356. So Ice Cream Some Days started 29th here today. And she is now up to the ninth position as she loses that spot to the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Just checking through this field, and we're going to look in on a couple people at the back of this pack. As the 544 of Frederick Winklevom, I'm not sure what happened to Winkle, but he is, I feel like he is way, he's about six seconds off the pace. As we see, again, we see. The 71 of Kung Fu Beer, first to 31st. So he loses 30 positions on that pit stop. I'm not exactly sure what happened as we cut to the leaders. And also the 203 assigns, the 300 of Resemble, all falling way back to the back of the pack. So something happened there for all those leaders on pit road. And yeah, not, not entirely sure. They're all still on the lead lap here today, so. But Frederick is ever so close to falling a lap down to currently your leader, the 20 of Adam B5000. So Frederick coming off of just getting onto the back stretch right there as the 20 of Adam B5000 now getting onto the back stretch. So about five or 10 seconds separates uh, first and Frederick and uh, Adam B5000. As you see Frederick going into turn number four. Good battle for second position between the 329 and the 49 here. So Jetman is, I'm not sure if he just needed a little bit of time for those right side tires to come in because you know, old tires on the left, so Need a little bit of time for those right sides to come in and get them worn in and, you know, up to snuff, I guess, as he is now into the second position right there behind the 20 of Adam B5000. We'll check in on the 95. He is currently running fourth position right now. That's 25 of JTM way down to the bottom. I think he was trying to work on a pass on the 211 of Hogs. Hogs, we haven't talked about much as of late again. Early, early leader in the season in the points, currently running 24th right now in points. Runs sixth on the track for Douche Motorsports. As we see the 356 of ice cream some days, trying to keep that spot in front of now the 999 of Deviant. So Deviant currently in the 11th position right now. He had passed the 51 of AJM. He is trying to take over the 10th position from the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days, who has a great run on the 799 of Mike Check through four and five. So Mike Check for the Drop Bear Racing Team, car owner, he's gonna lose that spot to the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. His teammate, the 999 of Deviant's gonna follow right along there. So Ice Cream has moved up into the ninth position. She's trying to make her way to the back bumper of the 29, a wishbone attack with a little bit of help from the 799 and the 51 of AJM as we see four wide here on the track with the 95, the 211, the 33, and the 25 as they settle down off of turn three. 25 of JTM will now put his car into what looks like the fourth position here. 
as we watch this battle on the track for the top spot between the 29, the 49, I'm sorry, the 49, the 329, and the 20. As five, six laps is all that the 20, the 49 and the 329 could go. They are into the pits. So we're gonna watch and see what the 49 and the 329 do here on the track. So again, they stopped on lap number nine. And I don't know if this is a pit strategy thing or what the deal is here, but we're gonna watch and see if they put full, a full tank of gas in, if they go full fuel, or if they're going like, maybe they're only going one tank of fuel and uh, two tires, as we see a bunch of other folks coming into the pits as well. So that could be the thing is that KFB could have put in full fuel and full tires. As we see right side tires going on, it's going to be a four tire stop for the 49 Jetman. So he's going to need to he's going to have to get the hammer down here. As I'm sure the 20 of Adam B5000 is going to have a full head of steam catching up to him. goes the 96 of Nico. So we see uh, most everybody, looks like most everybody's coming to the pits here. So we went, we went nine laps the first time and then everybody is basically coming into the pits now. So I'm not sure what the pit strategy is, but I guess we'll find out. As we'll keep an eye on uh, Zed, just as a note, Zed's gonna take over the lead there. He is gonna lead a lap here. So Zed's gonna get those five bonus points. I think the 96 of Nico might be, have fallen all the way back to probably about last position right now. But not quite sure as we watch the 49 of Jetman and the 329 of Heck of a Duber battle it out here on the track. So these were your two leaders as they came into the pits. And that might have been a situation where they pitted partially partial fuel and then came in, I don't know. Because I swear we went nine laps on the first one. And then, so I, I'm not sure at this point. But it looks like the 20 of Adam B, well, no, there's, a, yeah, it looks like the 20 of Adam B 5000 might be your leader on the track right now. I'm just watching, jumping through all these drivers. The 33 of Harvey Jones might be in second position, but we're not gonna know until we find the 95 of Zed Brunna. There was Zed. So the Pink Panther is into the pits here. AJM will have led a lap. We're gonna watch the Pink Panther. He's got, looks like two tires and fuel. With 12 laps remaining, Zed is out of the pits. He's on his way. He's not gonna beat the 20 of Adam B 5,000 out. I'm gonna try to catch up to see where the 51 was. I'm not sure if he's still on the track or not. There's the 23. Yeah, there's your 51, there's your leader. So AJM is into the pits. So wild, crazy pit strategies here today. This might allow the 51 to go all the way. <clears throat> Not sure he's got right side tires going on to that Zen Dodge for MBR. Fuel going in. Might be a two-tire stop. I don't see tires on the wall. There is fuel going in. He is packed full of fuel. He's down and he is away. As we see the 71, the 96 go past. Here comes the 20 of Adam B5000. So he's gonna beat the 51 around. So Adam, I think, is going to be your leader here on the track.
The 544, Frederick Winklevom, I do believe, is going to be a lap down. We're going to watch the 51. He's Again, this is a plate track, so th them getting up to speed here, it takes a little bit of time. And once they do, they get going, but... I'm doing some math here, and it. I think AJM, he's going to be very close to the end here. He went the longest on this last fuel stop, and it's going to be very close to the end of this race if he can make it all the way. But let's get back up here to the front as we watch the 20 of Adam B5000 working towards the front stretch. And I believe he is going to be your leader. So once this officially updates, we'll go through your current top 10. And there's your update. So your leader is the 20 of Adam B5000. Second's going to be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Third will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Fourth will be the 33 of Harvey Jones. Fifth will be the 49 of Jetman. Sixth will be the 51 of AJM. Seventh will be the 25 of JTM. Eighth will be the 29 of of Wishbone Attack, and rounding out your top 10 right now will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Actually, she might be a ninth, and the 799 might be 10th. I don't know, there's some stuff in there, it's fine. But Mike Check looking for the tenth position, the ninth position here, trying to take that away from the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Checking in on some of your other notables. Double Zero Mudbone currently running 15. As he runs fourth on the point in points. Jump back up here to the front as it is wild and it is crazy. With the second this is for this is the second position right here. With the 329 of Heck of a Duber taking over that position. The 544 of Frederick Winklebaum again for RP Racing is a lap down now. So I I, I don't know what happened in the pits between Frederick. KFB, Nico, Signs, Vet, and Resemble, but something happened in the 34 is Super Snake, but those six drivers were just mired. The six or seven drivers just got stuck in the pits. I'm not sure exactly what happened, if there was contact going in, but they were definitely in the pits for a long time. We saw KFB get on the pit road, so I'm not exactly sure what happened with them as they are absolutely closing in on the 20 of Adam B5000, and they have the hammer down. The 544 of Frederick Winklebaum hoping to get it. Oh, my goodness. They have to get on the brakes for the 20 of Adam B5000. Frederick had a heck of a run. He was working to get his lap back, and Adam cuts down in front of him. Frederick has to get on the brakes, or he was turning the leader right there and the points leader. The 20 of Adam B5000, Duber has to get on the binders right there as he was going to run over the 20 of Adam B5000. So the 95, the 33, working to the outside right now. The 49 of Jetman getting lost in the dust here. As we see the 544 who is going to be desperate to get his lap back and hope for. He is hoping for a caution and we have one folks. This could be great for the 544 Frederick Winklebaum. Um, and to be real honest, he's going to get his lap back here in the More Freedom Series. But if he can race his way to getting his lap back without that lucky dog, that could be, I don't know. That's, that's I feel like it's better for him. It's a boost in confidence is what it is. So with eight laps to go, the 544 Frederick Winklebaum is going to get his lap back. Here at Fort Wayne, and Zed is going to take over the lead here. So we're going to see Frederick go around as we do see tire smoke there. So we'll check in on who that was and what happened there in just a moment. As very, very long, very, very long caution laps here at Fort Wayne.
so with these very long caution flags here at Fort Wayne, we'll we'll check in and see. We're going to see what everybody does here for the pit stops with about seven laps to go. That's going to put everybody on the lead lap here today as we do see... Is that the 07 of Douchebaggins? No. I think that's the 13 of King of the Aces. Um, we're going to see who is the takers for Pit Road, or if anybody's takers for Pit Road. Looks like the 95. I, it might be almost everybody here today. Four tires and fuel. Two tires. We're going to see what everybody does. 49 to Jetman was already down to the bottom of the track. So he is... Looks like, is the 29 of Wishbone Attack staying out? Wishbone's staying out. Everybody else is going in. So we're going to watch what Zed does here as he leads us down pit road. 29 of Wishbone Attack takes over the lead. That's going to be his first lap led on the day. We're going to see what kind of pit strategy that MBR has for him as we do see the 211 of Hogs there on pit road. So Hogs, it looks like he was involved in an incident. Not sure with who. We'll check that out in just a moment as we see the Pink Panther into his pits. Right side tires going on. The Pilot Flying J Toyota for Aces to Zed Motorsports. Fuel going in. Packing as much as they can in there. Zed is stuck. I don't know what's wrong. They must have something wrong. And he is finally, finally down and away. They were getting as much fuel as they could into that 95 of Zed Verona. He's going to lose a couple spots. I guess it doesn't technically matter. You know, the 51 of AJM might be sitting in the catbird seat because he had put less fuel in. He went longer. So we're all making it to the end of this race. Not sure about that 29 of Wishbone attack. I don't know if AJM took tires or not, but he, he may have only taken fuel. But let's go through and see what brought out that caution. So I might have talked about this earlier in the race. There's a point where you come out of turn one and start to go into turn two where the banking, it starts to come into a banking and you have to let your car slide up that track to keep your speed. Well, that's what's going to happen here with the 211 of Hogs. But unfortunately, the 356 of Ice Cream some days is on his outside. So let's see this happen. From the roof cam on the 356. Well, looking at it from the last perspective from the roof cam on the 356, it looks like they both came together right there. So. Racing incident between the 211 and the 356. I thought it was a 356 from the first angle came up and or the 211 came up into the 356. But it looks like they both came down and into each other right there. So need better spotter management. But the 356 is going to lose a few positions back to the only three positions. He's going to lose it back to the 13th as your leader on the track. Still at 29, a wishbone attack. Let's go through the current top 10. Your leader is the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Not sure if he's going to make it to the end. Second place is going to be the 51 of AJM. Third will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Fourth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Fifth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Sixth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Seventh will be the 799 of Mike Check. Eighth will be the 88 of NM. And ninth will be the 999 of Deviant. And rounding out your top 10 will be the double zero of Mudbone. So we're going to see if... They can all make it to the end. As a note, the 49 of Jetman, I'm not sure what happened, but he has fallen all the way back to 31st uh, after that pit stop. Again, the same with he must have had just a rough pit stop here today. So he lost basically 30 positions on the track and is back in the 31st right now. Hogs is going to be listed as out of the race. Here today, uh, everybody on the lead lap, so we should get, I don't know, we're going to see what happens as we got the lights are out on that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car, the 29 of Wishbone Attack, going to be leading us back to take this green flag here today. 
Again, he's only had two pit stops. He, I mean, he's he's hoping he can if he can keep it out there for four laps and out at the front. I mean, I am, I'm, you know, fingers crossed for him. If that if that's a great pit stop by that NBR team, um, amazing because he might be able to make it all the way. As they started, everybody started pitting with 11 laps to go, and with running these laps under caution, they really could have gone nine laps on a tank of fuel so if they got everything they could into that car with 11 to go and running four laps under caution um theoretically he could make it to the end i know ajm came in and and hit put some gas in his car so i'm not sure i i know he can make it but the question arises that can the 29 make it so um, hopefully for that NBR team that they didn't have a mistake on pit road again this week, as I'm not sure what happened with the 49 of Jetman, as you see the, the 96 had fallen all the way back as well. So the 25 who was in top 10 currently runs in the 17th position, but you know, as of right now with four laps to go, double file restart here at the Fort Wayne 100, it's basically anybody's race. I know Adam is looking for win number three here today to solidify himself at the top of the points as we go into the halfway, as we go into halfway. And the all-star break. We are back underway, green flag is out. Wishbone Attack has got that car fired up. We're gonna see if that'll if he's gonna be able to do what he needs to do as a 51 of AJM has got his car fired up. He's on the outside right now. I'm not sure if Wishbone has the gas or not, but he is he's definitely got it to the floor right now. 51 of AJM who heartbreak a couple weeks ago. He is trying to make up for it here today in the Fort Wayne 100. He's got competition on his back bumper in the form of the 13, the King of the Aces, the double zero, and the 329. So AJM to the outside of the 13, the King of the, actually King of the Aces down to the inside of the 51. AJM on the outside, Kodo on the inside as a drag race down the back stretch, the 329 pushing the 51, the double zero pushing the 13. So close right now between those top cars. As we see the 13, a king of the aces, able to come out and pull out to the lead right now with just a couple laps to go. So AJM slots himself in behind the 13 and king of the aces right there in front of the 329. Of heck of a duber, the double zero of Mudbone. He's going to lose a little bit of ground here as we see the 88 of NM jumping down to the inside, making it three wide for the second position with the 51 and the 329. So the 88 of NM working himself from 31st up to the top 10 right now. A double zero of Mudbone. Remember, the double zero of Mudbone started dead last on the field here today. Uh, he was actually multiple seconds behind. He was five seconds off the pace in qualifying, and he has worked himself up to being in a position to win this race here today. As the 13 of King of the Aces is blocking for his life right now as we head towards the front stretch. Couple laps to go. Heading into turn number one, 329 and the 88 down to the bottom with the 51. Here comes the 20 of Adam B5000 as well. So King of the Aces in what could be a masterpiece here today after starting 14th. He has the lead with one and a half laps to go here at Fort Wayne. He's going to get the white flag, or whoever's the leader at the end of this lap is going to get the white flag here today as we see the 07 of Douche Baggins 
has now worked himself up into the fifth position. As we see the 329 working underneath that 88 of NM. So NM has contention by the 329 of heck of a duber as they head off a of turn number five. They're gonna be coming down to take the white flag here today at Fort Wayne. Your leader on the track is the 13 of King of the Aces to the outside is the 88 of NM and the double zero of Mudbone. Down to the inside, two douche motorsports cars, the 329 and the 07. Double zero of Mudbone, the 13 of King of the Aces off the gas as he was sliding high. The 88 of NM and the double zero of Mudbone pushing out to the lead. The double zero of Mudbone sliding it down, trying to get underneath the 88 right here on the last lap as they come out of turn number three. The excitement right now on this track is overwhelming as we have a battle for the lead with less than half a lap to go here for the win. The double zero of Mudbone, he's going to be working to the inside here on the 88 of NM. NM's got that hammer down. We're going to see if he can get help by the 999 of Deviant or any of those cars behind him. It looks like the double zero of Mudbone might have the win here today. Coming out of turn five, your leader, the double zero of Mudbone, the 88 of NM doesn't have the draft help. Here it comes down to the stripe. It's gonna be the double zero of Mudbone. He's gonna pull out the win. He's gonna go from last to first here in the Fort Wayne 100. I am speechless, folks. I can't even believe it. I'm not, I can't, I can't even believe it. That double zero of Mudbone last to first here in the More Freedom Series. Let's go through your finishing top 10. Your winner in amazing fashion leading one single lap. The double zero of Mudbone. Second place is going to be the 88 of NM. Third is going to be the 999 of Deviant. Fourth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Fifth will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Sixth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Seventh will be the 07 of Douchebaggins. Eighth will be the 10 of Scooter. Ninth will be the 25 of JTM. And rounding out your top 10, the 72 of Duchess. Wow. Just... What a way to finish the first half of this season as Mudbone taking that victory lap with the 88 of NM right there in tow. Um, awesome race for the double zero of Mudbone as we head into the all-star break next week. We head to North Wilkesboro for the all-star race. That is going to be a 50% race which I think might be, I'm not sure in the lap count on that, but that'll be next week at North Wilkesboro. We'll go through all that stuff next week for the all-star race and who's in it. It's not going to be the entire field, non-points paying race, by the way. Let's take a look at your point standings after this race. And just the incredible race here today. We'll also take a look at your team and chassis standings. I am just, I don't even know what to say. An amazing race here today in the More Freedom Series. Last lap, last turn, last to first. The double zero of Mudbone has an amazing historic race here in the More Freedom Series. Pulls out, doesn't even, he just, he drove himself to that win here today in amazing, spectacular fashion. Starting 33rd, the 88 of NM had started 31st. So congratulations to the double zero of Mudbone. He wins it here at one of his home tracks here in Indiana at the Fort Wayne Super Speedway. And until next week at North Wilkesboro for the All-Star Race, take care.